Captain's Log, USS Lexington We are on our way to planet Ross 128 for a port of call, and we are delivering supplies to the relatively new colonies there. Ross 128 orbits a red dwarf star with a year if you can call it that of 9.9 .9 Earth days. Joining us is Ambassador Alicia Barnes who has some bureaucratic red tape to take care of on the planet. The crew is looking forward to a good rest. I will be authorizing shore leave to the new colonies. We have heard that the Nebula Girls, a popular musical group, is currently doing concerts there. I personally looking forward to it. Jimmy, why don't you get some rest? We are still a few hours away. Okay thanks Jeannie I think I will. Wake me up when we get there. I don't want to miss the Nebula girls. Okay will do. Pleasant dreams. Okay everybody. We are going to run some drills. Helm. Slow to impulse. Deploy target drones. Ready phasers. Drones are deployed. Phasers ready, awaiting orders. Fire phasers. Target the lead drone. Target drone destroyed. Switching to second target. Commander, there is a civilian spacecraft approaching. They are asking for a conference. Discontinue weapons firing. Contact the ship. Ask for identification. They say they are the USS Hamlet. It's a passenger shuttle. Registry, Federation. They are based on Ross 128 and are asking us to be more representative on board. Welcome aboard the Lexington. Thank you. Can you please direct me to your captain please? He is in his cabin. Please come with me. Make sure then all of the supplies are inventoried before we get to Ross. We want a smooth offload. Also make out a shore leave rotation list, and have it approved by the executive officer. Sir, aren't you going down for a rest? I will. There just is some work to catch up on. Captain, we have a guest that wants to speak with you. Can you come to the conference room? She is a woman from Ross 128 who is saying that some bad things have been happening there. No send her in here. That will be all lieutenant. Thank you. Yeoman give us some privacy. Hi I am Janice Hang, a licensed transport officer for Starfire Lines, based on Ross 128. Captain James Carver, currently in command of the Lexington. How may I help you? They are breaking out all over the colonies. Seemingly senseless fires that seem to come from nowhere. No I have not heard that. Why hasn't this gotten to Starfleet before? It's relatively new. They have just started burning about a week ago. We did file a brief with Starfleet, but have not heard anything back. Okay I will talk to Starfleet about it. We are headed there. Who are you carrying anyway? Just curious. They are a musical group called the Nebula Girls, more of a traditional style music. Indeed I have heard of them, and was looking forward to seeing them. 
Well Captain. I have to go. I don't want to keep their fans waiting. Captain, Ambassador Alicia Bonds to see you. She says it is urgent. This is what I get for trying to rest. Send her in Lieutenant. Captain Carver, why are you delaying? I need to get to Ross 128. We must get there soon. Ambassador, my executive officer was running some battle drills which are overdue anyway, and then we had a visitor. We are running ahead of schedule. My orders say that we have to be there in 24 hours. There is plenty of time. I have some very sensitive matters to attend to Captain. Can't you understand that? Excuse me a moment. Bridge discontinue any battle drills and proceed to planet at warp 2. Captain, you disappoint me. I will be in my cabin when you decide to get there. Captain Carver to the bridge. Message coming in. Captain, are you aware of the fires on Ross 128? I had someone from there tell me about them, yes. I am changing your schedule. I want you there in an hour. Investigating the fires is now your top priority. We don't know what is happening, just that fires are breaking out in increasing frequency. Helm, go to warp 5. Let's get there. Standard orbit. Contact ground authorities. Tell them we are ready to beam down our cargo and begin the investigation. Captain, we are being requested to dock at Space Dock Alpha to unload our cargo. That comes from ground control. Ask them what the problem is. We can have the cargo beamed down in 15 minutes. They say that under no circumstances are we to use transporters. We are cleared to dock at the station. I feel a headache coming on. Notify the dock that we are about to enter. I don't understand why we are being told not to use the transporters. What is the problem? We were told to get here fast, and now we are told to unload our cargo manually. That will take a day at least. Captain, come over to the table for a minute. Captain, the people on the planet below are concerned that the transporter may be causing the fires. They don't want them used. That's is ridiculous. Transporters are used everywhere these days. They don't cause fires like the ones that we are talking about. There is a religious movement among the colonists. They claim that there is a fire demon who is punishing them for the use of technology, specifically transporters. I will talk to the Admiral about this. I sympathize with you captain, but the people are on edge as it is. Save the transporters for emergency use. Subject is closed. Captain's log. 
the transfer of supplies to the surface has been tedious and slow. Still, I took the opportunity to send some science teams down in the cargo bay, though I am sure they are not happy with the accommodations. The last cargo shuttle has departed, Captain. We can begin transport of teams down to the ground, and give them vehicles to use. We will send shuttles down on the surface, and other things for them to use. Extensive fire damage, no unusual readings. There appears to be nothing inconsistent with a case of arson or an accidental fire. Continue readings. Let me know on anything no matter how small that looks wrong. Light the sacrificial fire. May the fire demon appear. Trick orders. Keep your phasers ready. Don't draw them unless there is an imminent threat. It's a projection. A simple trick. Only the fire is real. I will have a talk with this guy when he is done. I am from Antares. Are you really that upset at my little, how do you humans say it, dog and pony show? We are not angry or upset. It is the fires that have been springing up that we are investigating. I have nothing to do with those fires. I am a simple showman, making a simple living. Well under the circumstances we do need to check you out, but if everything looks good you won't hear from us again. Yes the wife and I have been really busy lately. I bought this radio off-world. It uses old earth technology. None of that fancy federation stuff. And, are you there? Contact the governor. Advise her that we are about to land. We are from the starship Lexington. I request to speak to Governor Gaines. Send her in Henry. I need to speak with her. It is a pleasure to meet you. Governor, we have some information to discuss. I gather that you harbor anti-technology sentiments, specifically our transporters. This is hampering our investigation, Governor. How does that hamper your investigations, Lieutenant? Governor, you do have extensive records on these fires I hope. We would have to go to my office in order to access them. We do possess the records, Yes. I suggest that we fly to your office, Governor, and I will download your records. Ginny, I want you to prepare all the records that we have on the fires that have been springing up. We will transfer them to the Starship in orbit. Come up to the second level, Officer Holmes. As you can see, Lieutenant, we are a mixture of the old and the new. That is illogical. You should embrace modern technology as your main operating devices. I am aware that Vulcan males still engage in combat for the possession of females. 
Men on Earth no longer possess women. They fight with primitive weapons such as the leather, and then you lecture us about being nostalgic about ancient Earth technology. Besides, I happen to know that many Vulcans are fascinated by antiques. A parochial attitude, typical of humans. Nonetheless we have work to do. Officer Holmes, get us out of here. Use your transporter. Now. Lexington, emergency transport. Hurry. Danger.